welcome to this vlog of Wolfs Advocaten, Amsterdam and Maastricht, the Netherlands. In this vlog, John Wolfs of Wolfs Advocaten will discuss the remedies in case of non-performance of a contract in the Netherlands. John, what can you tell us about the remedies in case of non-performance of a contract in the Netherlands? In case of non-performance under Dutch contractual law, several remedies can be distinguished. The first question to ask is, what is the definition of non-performance? We can, for example, speak about non-performance or a so-called shortcoming when the one who has to perform does not fulfill its contractual obligations at all or does not fulfill it on time and in a proper way. If there is a non-performance of a contractual obligation, the following claims are possible in general. Number one. Performance of the contractual obligation, whether or not, including compensation for late performance. Number two, claiming damages instead of performance. And the third option is setting aside the contract, whether or not, including claiming damages as a result of setting aside the contract. Is one allowed to choose between all remedies? Not every remedy can be chosen. It depends on the case. I will give some general non-exhaustive information. For example, performance of the obligation is only possible when performance can still take place. Claiming full damages is only possible when the non-performance is attributable to the debtor. But sometimes parties have agreed that claiming full damages is not possible. The agreement between parties always plays a leading role. For setting aside the contract, in Dutch onbinding van de overeenkomst, an attributable shortcoming is not necessary, but claiming the full damages is not possible then. Thank you for this contribution, John. You're welcome. If there are any questions, please contact me. Thank you for watching. We invite you for the upcoming vlogs of Wolf's Advocaten, your partner in law in the Netherlands.